Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to share with you an interesting observation. Few colleagues, whenever I invite them to enhance their emotional skills, they don't take it positively. This has been repeated over the last few years, so I became more interested and tried to find out why. Why some people would feel offended when you ask them to enhance their emotional skills. In order to answer this question, I made some search, I read some articles, and came with a conclusion. There are two possible reasons because of them people may feel offended when someone asks them to work on their emotional intelligence or to enhance their emotional intelligence skills. The first reason is that some of us may underestimate the potential impact of emotional intelligence on work and life. In fact, emotional intelligence has a lot of benefits that can impact our life and work. It can enhance our communication. It can be a very useful tool in negotiation. It can be a very good resolution for conflict and so many benefits that we can read and learn about. So people need to dig deeper in order to understand what exactly emotional intelligence is, what emotional intelligence can do for them, and then they need to be clear on what actions they need to take in order to enhance their emotional skills. So from my opinion and based on my experience and what I read, I think that this is the first cause why some people may ignore your invitation when you ask them to work on their emotional intelligence skills. The second cause that people may feel offended when you ask them to enhance their emotional intelligence and may do everything in order to escape this discussion, it is the fact that we don't understand emotional intelligence. We don't understand what is emotional intelligence. We tend to think that it's either related to emotions or related to intellectual capabilities, because that's the name, emotional intelligence. So what I can say in this context is that emotional intelligence, in fact, has nothing to do with emotions and has nothing to do with intellectual capabilities. Let's handle emotions first. So you can be a very emotional person, yet you may lack skills needed for emotional intelligence. In fact, my opinion is that people who are very emotional are the most in need to learn about emotional intelligence. So emotions are our feelings and emotional intelligence is completely something else. We will define it in a few minutes. And the confusion between intellectual capabilities or IQ and uh, emotional intelligence is even easier to handle or to resolve because emotional intelligence is our ability to understand and manage our emotions and the emotions of others. However, IQ is a measurement of our intellectual capabilities and it gives a rough idea about how the person is clever, smart, and intellectual in doing certain tasks. So I think that when I ask people to enhance their emotional intelligence, few of them may think that I don't have emotions. No, as I mentioned, emotions has nothing to do with emotional intelligence. Another person may say, emotional intelligence? I'm intelligent. Why he needs me to improve my uh, emotional intelligence? So again, emotional intelligence has nothing to do with your intellectual capabilities. You can be very smart, you can be the smartest person on earth, but still you need to learn how to practice emotional intelligence. To summarize, before judging emotional intelligence, you need to understand what benefits you can get if you learn emotional intelligence and how you can apply this in your day-to-day -day practice. The second thing is that you need to rest assured that inviting you to learn about emotional intelligence or to enhance your capabilities about emotional intelligence has nothing to do 
uh, with judging you as an emotional person or as a smart one. So emotional intelligence has nothing to do with emotions or with intellectual capabilities. It's the name. And of course, definitely, it's not me who called it emotional intelligence. So call it X, call it Y, call it anything you want. But please try to understand, if you haven't yet read anything about emotional intelligence, I think it's the time to do it because in our complex dynamics at business and also at life, I think it will help many of us to excel and to, to, to change into a positive level. From my opinion, emotional intelligence at work is a critical skill that everyone working in corporate environment has to learn. I think that emotional intelligence can make every single interaction we do at work a success. Thank you very much and see you soon.